Motherfucker's good, bitches! I'm the Motherfucking Mouse Creature, and here is another React video. I'm gonna be watching an old video of mine called What It Means to Be a Metalhead. Five years ago, 618 views, 12 likes, 2 dislikes. Hey, what's up, Infidel Lamb today? I'm, I'm the Massive Creature. You can call me Bobby. I used to watch his videos religiously. He was the shit to me. I idolized him almost as much as the Amazing Atheist, if not equally. Of course, I'm wearing this stupid fucking headset when the webcam I was using had a mic built into it. That was too fucking stupid to know that! I at least had a ball necklace and a trench coat. I still have the trench coat, and I have no idea where this fucking ball necklaces that I've had since 2007. I can't even say I've had it since 2007 because I don't even know what the fuck it is. That breaks my heart. I have a suggestion for a possible name for your twin character. Now, I'm thinking since this guy's wearing a dying fetus hoodie a lot, maybe you should name him Beasley after Sean Beasley from Dying Fetus. At one point, Infidel Amsterdam was doing this contest where he wanted the audience to pick the name of his counterpart fictional character that wore a dying fetus hoodie and I came up with Beasley and I thought that was like the most genius fucking thing ever and I was 99.99% .99 sure that Infidel was going to use it but he picked Baldrick instead which is also cool. Beasley it's short sweet and it's not too overreaching like some of the other suggestions I saw like Lord so-and-so and Master so-and-so. I mean those are cool and all in their metal but I'm thinking something short and sweet would be better. Me trying to be a salesman for one of my favorite YouTubers. I honestly don't even know if he still makes videos and I need to fucking find out. Something that you could say real easily like come here Beasley. Beasley get up. Beasley. Go get me some coffee. You know, Ed and Beasley sounds like a cool duo, sounds like a brotherhood kind of thing. Man, I was really pitching that. I really wanted him to use that shit. I don't know, I like it. Sounds like Bob, but, you know, it's not as unoriginal as Bob, you know, because there's so many people named Bob. I mean, I'm Bob, you know. <laughs> My birth name is Robert, but I also go by Bobby, and I could also go by Bob. But, so, go with something a little bit more original, something that suits his exterior, wears a dying fetus hoodie a lot. I think it'd be pretty cool. I think it would be appropriate, but that's just my suggestion. I know a lot of other people who have made some good suggestions, and you probably have a good idea in mind for his name anyway, but I wanted to contribute with my own idea. Yeah, see, when I was making this, I treated it as if I was really fucking talking to him, and, you know, I'm just being as respectful as fucking possible. <laughs> like, yo, I know that this isn't about me. Pick me, but, you know, fucking it's okay if you don't. But aside from that, I just want to take this time to express all my appreciation I have for you, man. Like, you have absolutely no idea how much I admire you. See, that shit. That kind of shit is what every fucking person in the world needs. Every fucking person needs someone to look up to. When you feel connected to another human being like that, when you can look up to someone like that person is your fucking hero, you feel like your life has meaning. But, you know, some people don't have heroes. They don't have people they look up to. They just kind of live life and do their own thing, and that's also cool. You can be happy without an idol as long as you love doing what you do. I certainly idolized this motherfucker, and I was totally letting him know. You are a real fucking true ass metalhead. True! T-R-B-B. T-R-0-0. Zero zero. I mean, like, a lot of zeros. <laughs> and I'm not talking true as in TR00. I literally had no idea I was gonna say that. Like those really narcissistic metalheads that try to make some kind of pseudo real appearance for themselves to make them seem superior to other metalheads. Man, I'm shit talking about all the fucking elitist black metalers. Because that's not genuine, that's not real, that's not true, because a true metalhead doesn't look at something and say, you know what, you're inferior, you're not worthy, you're not worthy enough to call yourself a metalhead. And I, of course, agree with that to this day. People should never consider themselves superior to other people for what they listen to, how they dress, etc. I mean, we all bleed red, unless you're a fucking alien, in which case, get the fuck away. Because, like, with you, you're not like that. When you, okay, an example, Justin Bieber, Rebecca Black, 
deathcore. When you listen to all that stuff, you're not like, dude, that shit is so fucking gay. Dude, only real metalheads listen to shit like Misery Index and Suffocation. You can't listen to deathcore. It's not real. It's not true. What kind of a faggot would listen to Justin Bieber anyway and Rebecca Black? What kind of fucking bitch is that? What kind of bitch is that? <laughs> and that's something I genuinely did love about Infidel. He was very passive about the things that he didn't like. He was like, um, you know what, it's not for me, but if you want to listen to it, I mean, that's cool. To see a die-hard metal fan who didn't bash the deathcore bands and the people that listened to him was refreshing. That's what the true metalheads do, the TR00. Yeah, that's so fucking stupid. It's so narcissistic and arrogant, but you don't do that. You're unbiased. If you listen to something that you don't like, you say, you know what, if you like it, go on ahead. It's not my cup of tea, but don't let me stop you from listening to it. And that's how metal should be. It should be unbiased. Sticking to your guns and just enjoying what you want. And that's what's so inspiring about you, man. You know, seeing the inspiration I had manifest like that is inspiring to me. My own inspiration is inspiring me. Metalheads need to be like you, and that's why you inspire me. And everything about you, man, your music taste, your taste in George Carlin. I remember we had a little conversation on Facebook about how we like George Carlin. Take a fucking breath once in a fucking while. I took major pride in the fact that we had talked on Facebook about something. Shut up. Your metal decorations, your metal vocals, your artistic talent, the drawings on your walls. Man, I don't know what I was doing with this facial hair shit. I just... No. 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 Your animals, your tattoos. <laughs> I was really making it fucking clear how much I fucking like this dude. Uh, your love for coffee, you know. Every time I watch one of your videos, man, I get myself a cup of coffee. It's like a fucking tradition now. Because you're fucking straight edge as fuck. It's like, <laughs> it just makes me want to, like, drink coffee just because I finally found someone who's, like, more addicted to coffee than I am. What? Okay, that cringed me the fuck out. That one did it. That one did it. <laughs> But, um, other than that, like, your humor and your attitude and your passion for metal, it's just so admirable, man. Okay, we fucking get it! And, like, it just makes me happy to be a metalhead, too. Because you, know, you get it, you know the family and the brotherhood of metal. Brotherhood of metal, that's pretty much what it is. You know, seeing a bunch of people wearing black t-shirts at a show and just knowing that all these people are your family. You know, you're comparing them to those guys in the orange shirts who weren't really mingling around that much. Referencing one of his fucking videos. I have no idea which one. But, you know, there's some kind of intrinsic inherent brotherhood in metal. That was redundant. And it, it's unbiased and it's loving and Everyone in metal unites under one banner. Where did I get that from? Lord of the Rings, probably. And says that, you know what, we're in this for the same cause. We all love the same thing, and we don't need to be dividing each other between subgenres and the way we look and our religious beliefs and anything like that, dude. Just, there are no divisions between us. Yeah. And you know that. So, <laughs> you know, I'm ranting here, but... There's really no fucking words that I could, like, say enough. Say enough. To describe my appreciation for what you're doing. I love you, man. And, you know, if you like Beasley, that'd be really awesome. But if not, then, you know, go whatever, you know, suits your taste, man. Go whatever suits your taste. I'm always going to be watching your videos, and I'm always going to be loving metal. So if you're doing the same, then thank you, man. Thank you for everything that you're doing. This is the Massive Creature, this is Bobby, and Metal for Eternity, man. Metal for Eternity. All hail the Infidel. I couldn't figure out what to say. So that was my video to Infidel Amsterdam from five years ago. I really dig the passion that I was expressing for Metal and for Infidel. I'm still the exact same person, and that's the beautiful thing about it. I agree with these philosophies, and I know that I will have them for the rest of my life. I'm the almighty fucking mass creature. You're a dragon with wings that so don't stay on the ground.